Hey everybody, Izumi here, back to be terrible with the names yet again. So we got Skirnir Decimates S4. Um, first up is going to be Dyna. And second is going to be Voxy. Third is Rapunzel. A little bit of healing there. And we got Lucy Lucy. I don't know how you really say that. And Esquire Envy. All right, so here we go. Okay, so this time around, I'm not doing the reflex strat. This is just auto, pure, straight up, the way I guess it was intended, it's supposed to be done. I don't, I don't know. So, Mechanic Staff, Skirnir is in the magic row, is human, and is grounded. His action skill does 160% light magic attack damage and holy chain for 3 turns to 2 farthest enemies and 3 farthest enemies. All stats excluding HP 30% up for 3 turns to self. Um, holy chain affects only Aesir and Elves and it also ignores shields. So, um, the auto skill is going to be light magic attack damage and holy chain corrupt for three turns and remove barrier to all enemies. Uh, um, again, holy chain applies to Aesir, Yotun, and Beast and corrupt and remove barrier applies to all races. Uh, that kind of sucks. But um, also, Holy Dry Field and Magnetic Field. And as we know, Magnetic Field makes it so your gear really doesn't proc all that much. And Holy Drive is the same as with Magni. So you have the, um, the better the gears that you have with Holy Drive support, which are going to be the dark type gears, are going to, artifacts are going to give you a higher support percentage so the higher the percentage then every time you get it the more your skill gauge will go up so basically these fights are using are going to be using your character skill as much as possible that's how you're really going to do anything um, gear really isn't too much involved in this because of the magnetic field so um, as far as it goes with him you're most effective elements are going to be dark and secondly earth so but you're primarily going to be using skills um, for me it's going to be envy still works the same way is with the reflect it she still gets a little bit of damage in there with the reflect um, I, I imagine it's quite not you know it's it's enough to, to matter quite a bit um, Boxy is my main damage dealer, and you know, Dinah and Lucci usually do a lot of the, you know, shadow bound thing on the automata, so you can actually hit Skirnir without reflecting. And you can also use Petrify on them too, so it's shadow bound, shade, and Petrify you can use on the automata to be able to damage Skirnir with um, your other skills other than j reflecting his damage back at him. Um, with this team I can pretty much do auto. Um, I mean if you want to run auto some other ones that you could use are probably going to be Kirtana, Sorticia, uh, Melverin, Mavis, And those are some pretty good choices. Um, another healer you could use might be Flora or, again, Sorticia and Mavis. You know, Sorticia and everything. I wish I get her, but I don't. Maybe one day. And really, that's about it. He does, Skirnir himself actually does quite a bit of damage, so on some occasions Dyna will die, but because Envy reflects and Voxy is OP, I still end up winning anyway. 
my time varies. I'll have, you know, sometimes 10 seconds left. Sometimes I'll have a minute left. It just really depends on how good your skills overlap and if limit break, you know, kind of messes you up sometimes, limit burst. I would love to have the option to just, just, just turn that off and don't use it. Unless you have an apocalypse character. Oh, we're almost done here. 11 seconds left. Hey, a win is a win. Especially when it's auto and I don't have to do anything. Alright, so um, there we go. Yep, Voxy did the most. And thank you for watching.